hi friends thanks for clicking on that picture and checking out what we're making tonight so we're going to do another salad but it's going to be a shrimp blt salad with a homemade creamy basil dressing it is delicious come on let's start cooking okay so guys uh for our blt salad of course we need the b which is going to be bacon look at the pretty bacon so i just kind of wanted to show you how i make my bacon so i put it on a foil lined baking sheet um i do not put it on a rack because i think it tastes better whenever it cooks in its own fat just like it does in the skillet this just makes it a much easier cleanup so we are going to bake this at 400 dun, 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 dun. there we go 400 this is going to go for 18 to 20 minutes now this of course uh, for you will depend on your oven uh, so you're just gonna kind of have to play around with that uh, but I'm telling you this is the best way to do it um, and whenever we were actually ran out of gas um, in the stove which was been a few years ago we actually did this on the grill and it turned out just as good so if it's too hot and you don't want to do that um, in the oven then go ahead and do it in the grill again the time is just gonna vary so I'm gonna get that in and then we're gonna start working on the dressing let me introduce you to the cast of characters that we're going to be using tonight for our dressing. So we're going to have um, some heavy whipping cream, some mayonnaise, sour cream. I have fresh basil that I just picked out of the garden. So there's probably about two tablespoons, maybe a little bit more of that. I don't know. We'll be able to tell when we get it uh, chopped up. Uh, and then the seasonings I'm going to use, we're going to do parsley, onion powder, garlic powder, some pepper and salt. All right, let me go get my mixing bowl and we'll get this started. On to the dressing. All right, guys, so my measurements, kind of, sort of. <laughs> I'm gonna do the best I can for you. I'm gonna do a half a cup of mayonnaise and a half a cup of sour cream. And I have put this into my little plunger measuring cup. And then we're gonna go in with a half a cup of heavy whipping cream. All right, so there's that little bit of garlic powder okay so i'm gonna say maybe a quarter to a half a teaspoon we're gonna give this a taste and see if we need to add any more i'm also gonna throw in some onion powder kind of the same thing um this is why i always say to taste your food because you just never know then we're going to go in with some parsley and i like to put it in the palm of my hand that's probably about a half a teaspoon and i just like to crush that a little bit and it just releases the fragrance and makes it a little bit nicer Hi, Sophie girl, I can hear jingling down there. And then we're gonna do the same thing with the salt because I don't want to over salt it. So I'm probably gonna go in about a quarter of a teaspoon there in the palm of my hand. And then some fresh uh, cracked black pepper. And I'll probably put a little bit more of that and you don't need to hear me crank on that. So we're just gonna give that a little bit of a stir. And then I went ahead and got that stirred up. I'm gonna give it a little bit of a taste. Okay, so definitely is going to need a little bit more salt. So we're just going to do a little sprinkle across the top there. I think I'm also going to go in with a little bit more garlic powder because we really like garlic. And then we'll give it a taste. So again, just kind of seasoning as we go until we get it right. And then we're going to toss in our basil. Oh, guys, that's tasting really good. Oh, my gosh. I just love whenever I make something and I haven't made it before and it comes out good yeah sorry no i've never actually made this dressing before uh this is a conglomeration of another dressing recipe that i have um in my little cookbook and i'm gonna go with the so stop all right i'm gonna go in with the basil so i've got probably about three tablespoons of basil anyways uh this was a recipe that i had it's partially a ranch recipe and then another recipe and i just looked at the seasonings and i thought you know what i think that will go really well um, to do this basil dressing that I want to do. So we threw the basil in there. Now the only thing with the basil, I will warn you, it's going to turn color. So as it um, gets the oxygen because we've cut it, um, it might turn a little bit brown because of course this is going to be more dressing than we're going to need for just the one salad tonight. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's it guys. Doesn't that look good? All right, let's give it another little taste. Oh my. Guys, you got to make this. Please make this, okay? And tell me what you think. All right. We're going to go on and get ready for the, for the next step. 
All right, guys, now on to the shrimp portion of our shrimp BLT. So I have a dozen shrimp laid out here. Um, I did peel them and devein them. I dried them off. And now I'm going to go in with my Creole seasoning. Now, this is the same Creole seasoning that I made one of my first videos. And I will post a link for that so that you can check that out if you haven't. Um, it's one of my favorites. It's so delicious. And I think the seasonings are going to go really well with the fatty dressing and the bacon. So I am just going to liberally sprinkle that on my shrimp. And I'm going to do both sides. The shrimp have been covered on both sides there with that Creole seasoning. And I have about a tablespoon and a half of bacon fat um, in my pan that's just getting heated up. Now you can use whatever fat you want. You could do coconut oil, olive oil. Um, we just, I always save the bacon fat uh, from our bacon, just like what I did tonight. That will go into our pickle jar that I cleaned out. Um, so we're going to do that. Don't mind Sophie. It's close to her dinner time. So she's a little bit whiny down there. I apologize. All right, guys. And very carefully, we are going to place our shrimp in. Oh, you want to hear that sizzle? It's like an applause of an audience. So just don't burn yourself. We're just going to go ahead and lay these in the pan. Okay. So I have all my shrimp in the pan and guys, I just wanted to show this to you real quick. If you're not really comfortable with cooking shrimp, they really only need about, I don't know, maybe five minutes. So about two and a half to three minutes each side, depending on their size. So what I do, oh, there's a little bit of bacon fat. <laughs> so what I wanted to show you is if you keep an eye on it and once the tail turns pink, it's not quite there yet. And then you'll see it'll start to turn pink about halfway up. That's when you want to flip them over. Um, you want to try not to overcook them because they do get chewy, of course. Sometimes you kind of need to move them around in the pan a little bit. Um, but that's really the technique that I use is I look at the tails and then I try to look at the middle part and see. All right, so I'm just going to finish cooking these up and I'll be back in a moment. Guys, I'm sorry, I misspoke. So the tail will turn pink, but the inside will actually turn white. And that's how you know it's done uh, or it's done on that side. It's not pink, it's white. I apologize. I was just trying to to watch them and, and talk to you at the same time. So, okay, so now you're looking for the white in the middle and the pink on the tail. <laughs> All right, one more time, guys. I'm just gonna show you my shrimps are done. So I'm hoping that you can see, see how it's white all the way. There you go, perfectly cooked shrimp. So we're gonna take these out of the pan and then we're gonna start assembling our salad. Guys, look at this salad. Does that not look beautiful? So what I did um, is I put some lettuce in the bottom of the bowl, chopped up those cherry tomatoes that I had, and then crumpled the bacon and then put the shrimp on top. So that is my salad for tonight. I'm so excited to have this. Um, I'm not gonna taste it right now because I still need to put the dressing on it and I need to make George's yet. Uh, but I just kind of wanted to show you uh, what it looked like. So. That's it. I hope that inspires you to do your own BLT salad. You could do that with shrimp, or of course you can do it with shrimp, but you can do it with steak, you can do it with chicken, even pork, why not? All right, and use whatever seasoning that you want to on your shrimp. I mean, honestly guys, I, you know, I do these recipes, but they just come out of my head. So you don't have to follow them per se, but I would really like for you just to kind of experiment yourself. Um, although I'm telling you, that basil dressing, that's gonna be, yeah, I wrote it down so that I could remember what I did because it was absolutely delicious and I cannot wait to put that on my salad. All right, guys, so I'm going to go finish up making dinner. I hope you have a great night. Thank you again for watching. I appreciate all of you subscribing to my channel. It means so much to me. I hope that you know that. Um, it's very exciting because I'm just a home cook trying to, you know, share my low carb ways. So um, don't mind the piggies in the back. I love pigs. I also love bacon. Just going to tell you. Don't tell them that though. All right, guys, peace. Be kind to each other, please. And always smile. A smile just can make everybody's day. All right, thanks. See you next time.